All right, so today I'm showing you how to make a little hamster house that I made for my hamster. And it looks like this. It's kind of a little den for him to go into. And then up top, I have a little area that he can kind of make a nest in or whatever. And then a little ladder leading up to it. So what I did basically is first, well, this is all made out of popsicle sticks and hot glue. So you can just go to Meyer or Dollar Store, wherever you want to go, and get a bunch of popsicle sticks. But what I did is I just took one, two, or yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten popsicle sticks and laid them straight. And then I super, I hot glued them together, and I put some sticks on the bottom just for support. And then I made. Ignore this, but I made a bunch of these little walls with half of a popsicle stick in length with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Or one, two, three. No, I only used nine right there. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I used nine on each of these sides. So make two of those and then just hot glue them to your to the part to the first platform that you made. Just take some hot glue and glue them there. Then what I did is after you've got the flat surface and then these two sides, take some popsicle sticks and just lay them across and glue them. Then what you're going to do is you have this, you're going to lay one popsicle stick across right here and then take a bunch of like, these are like thirds maybe, and bring them down, leave a little doorway like that. Then I made a ladder, four popsicle sticks, I cut off the ends and then I made four little um, rungs or whatever you call them on those and I just taped that on then this little gate part at the top so his bedding wouldn't fall off I took probably fourths of a stick and I took a bunch of them put them across and then I laid two pieces on top same here and same on the back and what I'm gonna do is take some bedding for him and just put the bedding up there so he can make the nest or whatever he does up there and sleep. And then there'll be bedding on the floor of your cage. So, and then leave a little gap up there. Oh, and one more thing I did is I put some postage tape, see-through postage tape right there so that if he uses the bathroom on that, um, the bedding will absorb it and it won't um, ruin the wood or soak into the wood.